In this Learning Byte for Windows Small Business Server 2011 Standard, we'll take a look at configuring the Remote Web Access Portal. Here in the SBS console, we can find the Remote Web Access website under the Shared Folders and Websites tab. There's a sub-tab for Websites, which lists all of the websites that are present in the SBS environment, including, of course, the Web Access site. When we select this site, we have a number of different tasks available in the Remote Web Access task pane. We can disable the site entirely so that it's not available for users to connect to. This can be done for maintenance purposes or any other reason that might be appropriate for your particular environment at any particular time. You can open the site up on the server by browsing to the site. And you can also, of course, view the site's properties. So let's go ahead and do that now. On the General Information tab, we also have the ability to enable or disable the site using the checkbox that you see here. On the Permissions tab, we can modify which users in the environment have the ability to connect to the Remote Web Access Portal. If we click on the Modify button, we can see all the users and groups in the environment and add or remove them as appropriate. Back in the Remote Web Access Properties dialog, we also have a page for customizing the homepage links. By default, all the different areas of Remote Web Access are available to users but you can turn on and off different content sections. You can also manage the links that are available on the Remote Web Access homepage. You can choose to enable or disable these links, or to selectively enable or disable the organizational links that are available to all users in the environment, and the administration links, which are only available to administration users. On the Permissions tab for the links, we can see who can access which of these links. Again, we can modify these to control who has access to which resources. In the Organization Links section, we can view, add, and remove links from the organizational links. As an example, let's go ahead and add a link to the Contoso homepage. We can also do the same for Administration Links, adding, removing, and viewing the existing links. Closing the link properties will take us back to the Remote Web Access Properties, where we can move on to the Customization page. Here we can modify the organization name as it appears on the Remote Web Access page, as well as modify the background image shown for the login and the organizational logo. Doing so can really help to personalize the Remote Web Access experience for your users. Finally, we can take a look at advanced settings for the site, which can be performed using the IIS Manager. In general, most administration tasks should be performed using the SBS console, but for experienced users, you may want to go directly to the IIS Manager to do unique, specific configuration settings. So that's a quick look at managing the Remote Web Access website in the SBS 2011 standard environment. Thank you for joining us for this Learning Byte, and I hope that you take advantage of additional Learning Bytes in this series.